gasoline fired heater oh that God. sat on the front, much like the uh, first generation Volkswagen Beetles had. And we kind of joke about that. It either heated you or really heated you because they did have a tendency of catching fire. Greg C. Carico, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about my 1952 M38 military Jeep. It is built by the Ford Motor Company of Canada, and it was built for the Canadian military in 1952. It's powered by a four-cylinder Willys engine, and comfortable at about 60 kilometers an hour. You're not getting anywhere quickly. I've had this for over 30 years, and it's been... Uh, the last restoration, I did a frame off, complete frame off restoration about uh, eight years ago now that uh, involved completely rewiring the vehicle, engine rebuild, some work on the body, and uh, got it to the state it is right now. It is all originally restored. I picked it up from uh, a gentleman in Mississauga, and it had not been uh, worked on or changed. So it, uh, the original, sorry, the original military equipment was all with it, missing a couple of items. I have also added a M100 trailer that the, that the vehicle originally towed, and that was uh, directly from the military. I received that. And that was a very easy restoration. Uh, it's a fun vehicle to drive. Uh, you get a lot of uh, attention from people uh, wanting to uh, ask questions about it, and uh, a lot of the, uh, the younger children want to have a seat. I want to sit in the Army Jeep, so I'm more than happy to let that happen. All right, going into the interior of the vehicle, uh, we start off here. We actually have the driver's weapon. It is a uh, 303 Lee Enfield rifle. Uh, the wipers on this vehicle are vacuum driven off the engine or manual if it's just that's the, uh, the intermittent wiper if you need to. And the vehicle is equipped with data plates or instructional plates that explain how much the vehicle will carry, uh, different gear shifting positions, different speeds for each gear, uh, fluid capacities for the oil, the, the radiator, and transmission. And this is the manufacturer's plate that lists the Ford Motor Company serial number, the date it was delivered, and down here, you can barely see it, is the acceptance stamp when the military uh, gave their blessing that they were happy with how the vehicle was built. You have here three different control levers for the transmission. It's a manual transmission, so you have a regular three-speed shift lever here. This lever brings on the front axle for four-wheel drive, and you have a high and low here for either highway driving or off-road driving. Do you roughly know what the gear ratio is, uh, especially in the first or second? Because I guess the third uh, gear is the cruising gear. Off the top of my head, no, I'd have to look it up. That's, that's uh, the rear axle ratio I know is 538 to 1. So it's very, very low gearing. That's um, very low. Yeah, basically I can put the, as we say, put everything in the basement, yeah. step off the clutch without touching the gas, and I can walk quickly beside it and steer it if I have to. Okay. It doesn't move very quickly. Wow, that's... yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the roof, the canvas roof on this vehicle, right now I only have the top portion on. The side curtains are stored here, and there are canvas doors for it that I don't normally bring with me driving. Uh, basically, you would put all the canvas on. This vehicle does not have a hot water heater like today's cars do. If the vehicle was in an Arctic deployment, a aluminum frame uh, top went on it, a hard top and there was a gasoline-fired heater oh that God. sat on the front, much like the uh, first-generation Volkswagen Beetles had. And we kind of joke about that. It either heated you or really heated you because they did have a tendency of catching fire. <laughs> uh, very rare. You don't see them much around. And the aluminum enclosures, because they were made of aluminum, by now they've all deteriorated, so you don't see those either. Everybody just runs the canvas. Okay, the canvas roof that you see here right now is just the top of the back curtain. This does come off by releasing these straps here, pulls over the top, and then slides out of the channel here in the front. There are side curtains that go on to here to cover this up, and a canvas door that fits in here. 
with all of that on, it's very difficult to see traffic around you. So I tend to run it like this or with the side curtains on. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Please hit the like and subscribe button and this month I have a special giveaway. I will be giving away these two headlight restoration kit to anybody that subscribed to the channel and liked the video. Once again, please hit the like and subscribe button and the bell notification to stay tuned if you are the winner or not.